So in this video, we're going to look at the case where we're trying to integrate an integral in which there is a secant being raised to an even power, uh, even and positive power. So for this one, it says integrate secant to the fourth of x times the tangent to the fifth of x dx. And the idea is we're wanting to save a secant squared. This is a, this is a possibility that we can do because the secant is even. We're going to be able to save a secant squared and still have a secant to an even power left over that we can apply the Pythagorean identity to. And the goal then is going to be to set up a situation where a u substitution of u equals the tangent of x will make sense. Because when we take the derivative of the tangent, when we do du dx, the derivative of the tangent is the secant squared of x, and that's why you save the secant squared factor so that you have the derivative of the tangent sitting in the integral. And of course, if we multiply both sides by dx, we know that secant squared x dx is going to equal du. <clears throat> so we, re re we rewrite the integral. So we do integral of the secant to the fourth power of x, tangent to the fifth power of x dx. And then we want to recognize that the secant to the fourth power can be rewritten as the secant squared of x times the secant squared of x, and this is the one that we'll save, times the tangent to the fifth power of x dx. And the goal again is to do the substitution u equals the tangent, because the derivative of the tangent is the secant squared. The secant squared can be this one can be rewritten using the Pythagorean identity. So we saw in the last video that one plus the tangent squared of x is equal to the secant squared of x. This is one of the three Pythagorean identities from trigonometry. So we make the substitution. That way this secant is written in terms of the tangent because we want to make the substitution u equals the tangent. So we have one plus the tangent squared of x from the Pythagorean identity getting subbed in here. We're going to keep the tangent to the fifth power and then the secant squared that we saved, we get the secant squared x dx. And again, we saved it because the secant squared x dx is equal to du. So now we can go ahead and do a u substitution. We say, hey, this is gonna be one plus if u is equal to the tangent, we get one plus u squared times u to the fifth. Secant squared x dx is the same as du. Distribute the u to the fifth into the parentheses. So we get u to the fifth plus u to the seventh du. And then go ahead and integrate that. So the antiderivative of u to the fifth is one sixth u to the sixth plus the antiderivative of u to the seventh is one eighth u to the eighth plus because this is an indefinite integral plus a constant of integration and then because we did the u substitution we need to replace the u with the tangent of x so we get one sixth tangent to the sixth power of x plus one eighth times the tangent to the eighth power of x plus our constant of integration.